What's going on YouTube guys? I'm going to do this review on Imagine Dragons new album entitled Smoke and Mirrors. Guys, Imagine Dragons is coming with a different sound on this album guys. Uh I, I love that they I love that they first album Night Vi I think it was Night Visions. I love that that album guys. My favorite song was Radioactive guys. That song got very huge over 2 years. And guys, I really enjoyed that album, but guys, this album has has a different sound to it, guys, and I'm glad that they changed up their sound a little bit, you know, none of the songs sound alike, every song sound different, so that's what's unique about this album, guys, it's, 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 it's a breath of fresh air, and it's, it's, it's kind of emotional, and they put a lot of emotion and a lot of power into these songs, into these words, guys, it's very relatable to, some of the songs and some of the words are very relatable to life. And guys, I just really like that album, guys. They put so much meaning into it. Now, guys, you hear this song on every, like, you hear it on commercials, you hear it on movie trailers, guys, and this song is amazing. I'm sorry for everything, for everything I've done. Oh, I just love it, guys. I love it. They play it a lot, guys. It's been played ever since last year. They play it on the radio, guys. They play it on internet radio. Guys, I just... That's just one of my favorites on the album. One of my first favorites. That's the first song on the album. Then we got my other favorite song entitled Gold. Guys, it's just very, it just has a gold crisp sound. And I love it, guys. It, it really sounds like gold. And it, it's amazing. And I like their words. And uh, the beat is very nice, too. You know, it's a lot of easily easy listening music on this album, which is very unique. And guys, I just love them. Uh, the uh, the lead singer, Dan, I'll be forgetting his last name, guys, but he is amazing. The lead singer is amazing, guys. The whole band itself is amazing, guys, and a lot of people like them. And Gold is just one of those songs that will be on repeat because it just has a, a different sound and it's very, it's very unique. Then we got Smoke and Mirrors, the title of the album. They, they put so much emotion into this song. I just can't deal with the slayage. Guys, and I just like what they're talking about, the meaning of the song, and it's the title of the album, guys. It's amazing. Then we got I'm So Sorry, guys. Now, they had a little rock. Kind of sounded like ACDC, Kiss, a little bit, a little mixtures of, um, uh, 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 man, uh, it just sounded like a little mixture of everything. It sounded like a little bit of Pink Floyd, had a little bit of corn. Guys, I just loved it, guys. It was just, it was, a, it was a little heavy metal. And it was different from them because, you know, usually they have a very soft sound. And, you know, they, they, they do get a little loud, but not with every song. And that, that was just pretty different to me how they stood, they very, they stood out by putting that song on there because it added a little oomph to the album. And I like it. And then we have, I bet my life, guys. Now you hear that? That you have heard that on many previews. You have heard it on many movies. Oh, I bet my life. I bet my life. I bet my life for you. Guys, I just love the message of that song. You know, I guess it's, I guess they're talking, I don't know if they're talking about relationship. But guys, they, they, they could be talking about anything on the song. But guys, the message of the song is amazing. Then we got, Polaroid. Now, guys, we know Polaroid is a is a picture, and I guess they're talking about a picture, taking a picture of a camera. I guess they're talking. I guess they're uh, uh, having a vi it's a vision of life, and they're talking about uh, um, a little bit of honesty, and you know, I, I guess it's just you know based on reflection. 
I guess that song is based on reflection. You know, what you see is what you get. So, guys, that's I believe that's what Polaroid is, Polaroid is about. But, guys, I really like it. Then, after Polaroid, then we had Friction, guys. Now, that was very, very, very rock and a little gangster. Guys, they added a little, they had a little umph to this one, guys. For, it was amazing, and I love it, the sound, and it, it, it's just one of those rock songs that you could just listen to if you really like rock music, guys. I really recommend this album. Then we have It Comes Back to You. Now, guys, that had a very nice, crisp, soft sound to it that I just... That I just love, guys. That's one of the things I love about Imagine Dragons, guys, because they add so much meaning to every song that they do. Then we have Dream. It just... It puts you in a dream, guys. It puts you in paradise. It's just, it's, it's fluent. It's, uh, it's clean. It doesn't sound like anyone else, and it's different. Then we got hopeless. No, no. Then oh, I'm sorry. Then we got trouble, guys. I'm sorry. Then we got trouble. Trouble was definitely amazing, guys. I could, it's very relatable. I can definitely relate to the words of the song, guys, and it's amazing. Okay, that was another song that I liked it on the album. Then we got Summer, guys. It just takes you to summer. They're talking about the summer, the uh, the seasons, and I just love it. And uh, and the beat sounds very nice on that song, guys. And I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it would probably be my favorite song of the album, but guys. It does stand out with every one of the... Every one of the other songs. Then we got um Hopeless Opus, guys. That is just another one. This song is just it's kinda kinda slagged me a little bit, guys, because they got put a little tears for they sound like they got a little tears for fears and a little bit mixtures of Phil Collins with some of the beats, guys, the, the drums. Do, 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 do. Guys, I love it, guys. It's is 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 it, they have so they brought so much energy with this album. Anybody could like it. And so I just really feel like all of the Imagine Dragon fans are really going to love this album, guys, because I'm, I'm catching my life on mostly every last one of these songs. I wouldn't sound like every song, but most of the songs do stand out. So that's what that's what I will say about this album. Um, then we got The Fall, guys. I'm not afraid to fall, guys. I just love the message in that beat. It's just amazing, guys, and this is it is it is so true because so many people are afraid to fall. Don't ever be afraid to fall, guys, because once you fall, you can get right back up, guys. So I just love the message with that song, and and then we got thief. Okay, I guess that's uh uh, uh that song was just okay for me. Okay. If it's just okay for me, I'm going to say it was my favorite. But I listened to it, and I, I heard it out. And that, that one just was my favorite song of the album. Uh, but, hey, I, I dealt with it. You know, I listened to it, you know, just to see for myself. And, you know, I really wasn't feeling that one too much. Then we got The Unknown. Love this song. Oh, my God, guys. I just... I, I, the beat, the beat kind of sounds a little like, uh, a little like Tears for Fear. Second chances, guys. I want to get a second chance. I want to do, you know, I just like this song because everybody needs to have a second chance, you know. And life, everybody makes mistakes in life. And every, you know, whether you're in a relationship, you know, he could probably mean, uh, they could probably mean in a relationship, or they could probably mean just with people, period. Or just a second chance in, in life. Like, as far as opportunities. But, guys, I just really like... I like Second Chances, guys. Release was... Okay, it was my least favorite. I I didn't... You know, it, it was just one of those slow songs. that just kind of like, you know... Uh, maybe I need to probably listen to this one. But it wasn't nothing to go crazy over. Warriors was definitely... They went a little left and right field with that song. And that's the last song of the Deluxe Edition, guys. And I, I I I like it, you know. I want to say it's my favorite. They they sounded a little like corn and kiss on this one, kind of to me, guys. But guys, anyway, uh, I I just I I I would say I give this album a a nine out of ten, guys. I wouldn't necessarily give it a ten out of ten, guys, because I liked it maybe like five or six songs on this album, guys. It wasn't. It's not. 
the it's not my favorite, 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 favorite work by them, but guys, you know, as far as the second album, but I do like the majority of the songs. Maybe I need to listen to most of the other songs for them to grow on me, because I really do like the song. So I'm going to keep listening to it. Y'all know I'll be in my music. I'm going to keep listening to it, guys. But as far as what I thought about these songs, I thought they put a lot of meaning and creativity, and they stood out, and they don't sound like anybody else. And that's one of the things I respect about Imagine Dragons, because Radioactive... Ever since Radioactive, I have been a big fan of them and it's some other songs on that album. But Radioactive was just always my favorite one. Favorite song on Night Visions. But guys, this is Forever Brandon TV signing off. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what you think about the album and how the album stands out to you, what the songs mean to you. Comment, you know, uh I I will send a link in the description for you to buy the album on iTunes, guys. It's out. I was intending to get this review. A little earlier this week, you know, on Tuesday because that was when it came out. But guys, this is Forever Brandon signing off.